If you are looking how to add related post in WordPress, then you are on the right video. Hey everybody, this is Misan from WordPress Boffins. Today you're going to learn how to add related post in WordPress, single post or the pages. And also we're going to learn how we can add inline related posts. Like if you want to add a related post after a few paragraphs, how we can do that. So let's get started. We can add related posts in many different ways. If your theme already have the related post options, then it is quite simple. Most of the modern theme has that. I highly recommend you checking out Cadence and other themes that I always recommend. But let's say that your theme doesn't have the related post option after the single post. How you can achieve that? Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way by using plugins later when uh, we will be more used to with WordPress ecosystem, then I will also show you that how you can achieve that using customized code. But for this video, I'm going to use plugins to add related post after single WordPress post or pages. We can use a plugin named yet another related post plugins. That is the most used and easiest one in the market that you can use for let's do it so first uh, let's uh, go to wordpress.org from there we can click on extend then plugins from here we can start yet another related post plugin we can type yarpp or we can type the whole thing so this is the plugins that we are talking about so we can download and upload to our website but the easiest way is always going to the dashboard then plugins add new plugin from there we can search it another related post plugins or you can type yet another related post plugin there are plenty of other options but this is the most easiest one it's obvious that 100,000 plus website are using it if we look at the active installations that's active at this moment so the actual number is quite higher than this people has used it um people have used it more than that number of times actually okay let's install it let's activate it once activated it might ask you to give some sort of consent by you know letting them use uh, the data <laughs> like sending some users data to improve this plugin if you are okay with it you can click yes and if you're not then you can hit no thanks okay uh, then once the plugin is ready then it will take you to yarpp basic page from here you can select on which type of post you want to include by default wordpress has a uh, true post type that is post and pages and media actually three but this theme and uh, I have installed some other themes and plugin which added landing pages and my templates. So I don't want to show related posts to pages and other sort of things. Uh, I just only want to show related posts on the single post. So I am selecting posts. Then you can also disallow categories. Uh, let's say that you don't want to add a related post on beef recipe. Then if you want to do that, then you can tick mark on this one. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. And w uh, there are some other disallow option, display sticky post, things like that. But uh, for now, let's say that we just want to do this. And the algorithm is very important. Um, change it up to five, I guess. Okay, for now, let's just save it and see how it goes from here. So I'm opening, this is the default 2024 theme, by the way. So I'm opening a post. And there should be the related post. These four are the related posts for this particular post. And uh, as an admin, you will see the relevancy number that is 1111 that is quite relevant on this post. And uh, if you want to change the look of it, or if you want to change how many number of posts you want to show, then you can use this automatic display option. From here, right now, there are four posts to be shown. 
But if you want to show just two, then you can select that and save it. And let's refresh it. There should be two. Yeah, there is two. And then there are other options. Right now there is list option. If you want to show them as thumbnail, then you can also do that. Right now I'm just playing with the default settings. Saving it. And let's refresh it. So these are the two posts. And then if you want to use the thumbnail, then you can also uh, say the uh, size like uh, where are the sizes. You can play with it and save it. Yeah. Then uh, this is 300 pixel. So if we adjust, uh, then it could be just floating well, side by side. But uh, for now, we're not going to do it. Most of the cases, people actually use as the list. So that's the most uh, useful option for you. So in this way, you can add a related post just beneath uh, the content of your single post. And there are options like and let's say that you want to uh, install related post on inside the content. That is, uh, let's say that after one or two paragraph or things like that, then how we can achieve that. We can do that by using another plugin that I'm going to show you right now. So let's go to plugins, then add new plugins. This particular plugin is known as select internal linking of related content. I think I have just copied twice. We are looking for this plugin, Team in Progress. I'm activating the plugin. It has a paid option, but uh, we don't need that. So let's scroll down and go to the setting page. This is the actual plugin, TIP plugins, internal related post plugin. So from the menu, we can also go there. For now, let's uh, hit save content and let's see how it is adding the content. This is the related post. So in this way, we can add related post just inside of our content. How related post actually works, they actually bring content from the same category or same tags uh, or maybe with the combination of both categories and tags. So please remember that related post in this way will be actually from the tags that you have added or and also from the categories that you have added for your particular content or in this case posts. So if you want to do something else, then you need to do your custom programming, which we'll learn in a separate video. And um, there are plenty of options like templates. Uh, you can play with them. Uh, you can also, you know, select the colors and themes like like uh, let's say um, we want a white background that we want to change the colors things like that we can also do that this is the custom by the way custom styles see this is the custom styles uh, it depends text color oh, okay so this is the text color by default what will be the text color? What will be the button text color? Things like that. Yeah, now looking better than it was looking before. Yeah, we can add related post in this way inside the content, uh, just not after the content or maybe the start of the content. Yet another related post plugin can also add before the content. So yeah, that is the simplest way you can add related posts to your single post or pages. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel for such awesome tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.